Obviously, one of the main reasons for growing orchids is that we can eventually enjoy some beautiful blooms. So when we see a spike, it's like, woohoo, we're going to have the fruits of our labors pretty, pretty soon. An orchid has a different intention of blooming, and that is reproduction. It doesn't know how pretty it is. Their purpose for blooming is not to be gorgeous. Their purpose for blooming is their way of surviving and passing on their species and their kind, etc., etc. However, there comes a time when as orchid growers, we have to understand what is important to us, the beautiful blooms that we've been waiting for for so long, or do we want to keep the orchid in our collection and not risk its demise? Now, usually this question is only posed when an orchid is in stress, and you can see my Oncidium twinkle clearly is not a beautiful sight. She is a fraction of her former self. Those are mistakes in my culture that I have made, I'm trying to get her to recover, and little one decided that she's going to throw out two spikes on the growth where she found the potential and the strength to do so. So, thank you for joining me. I'm going to talk you through why my spikes are coming off, and I have a second example with Eonopsis popcorn haruri. So, this is pretty obvious with my twinkle, why the spikes are going to come off, because, as I mentioned, she is a fraction of herself. And you can see that she is struggling in more ways than one, partly because of rot, which was my mistake. Again, the culture is wrong. And partly because of pests. I've had some scale issues in the last year, which took her out pretty quickly. And when I say scale, I'm being kind. It was a complete infestation, which then I perpetuated the problem of her demise by drowning her in an insecticidal soap, which at the end of the day was too much, too soon, less is more, so to speak. Anyway, you can see that my little twinkle has started to show some signs of recovery. I have a nice little lead in the back here with a spike, and I've still got some pseudobulbs in the middle that are rotting out. Bless this mess was a video I made on her a while ago. And basically, I am just trying to recover her in the pot without disturbing her. So now you see, I have all this going on here. This is already all rotted at the base. I can pretty much remove this piece, even though there appears to be some green at the base. The green at the base doesn't stand a chance because the main pseudobulb is off. So in the attempt of trying to save my Oncidium Twinkle, I am going to remove everything that could pose a threat. And the spikes also pose a threat because they consume a lot of energy. Twinkles are also notorious for taking forever to grow their spikes until the buds separate, etc., etc. You would think it would be ideal to just cut the spikes off the moment that you see them so that she conserves her energy. But as I mentioned earlier, orchids want to survive. Their purpose for blooming is to survive, create a seed pod, not to look gorgeous. So if I were to cut these spikes off prematurely without getting to this stage, chances are the twinkle is going to send out another spike, which means another exponential amount of energy is being exuded and wasted, and then she could really go downhill. So my intentions for saving this twinkle or attempting to save this twinkle is to cut the spikes off. Why did I wait so long? So much energy, so many months of doing this. Well, it is because of the hormones of the orchid. If you cut a spike off prematurely, especially on an orchid that is stressed and you don't want it to bloom, it is going to throw out another spike 80% of the time. And in the process of doing that, it's going to take up even more energy. You don't want that. You want to pretty much play with a hormonal game of the orchid and wait until any spike on any orchid, if it is like this, like it comes out, at least the buds have to separate from the spike themselves. By that time, the orchid's hormones are already on their way down to do the next phase of growth, and that is to produce a new growth, go into rest mode, or start on roots, depending on the growth cycle of the orchid. So what we're doing is working with the hormones to help the orchid to think she's going to bloom, back off, take her hormones, direct the attention elsewhere, and we are going to remove the spike and conserve the energy of this orchid so that hopefully at least these two leads that I have left will start to produce new growth and eventually I will have saved my twinkle.
Is it sad? It is kind of, but it is worse losing the orchid entirely. That is my opinion. Now, am I guaranteed to actually have rescued my twinkle by doing what I just did? The answer is no, there are no guarantees. However, her chances of survival are now much, much higher than they were if I just wanted to enjoy the blooms because woohoo, they're scale free. And last year I had scale all along the spikes and everything, it was a disaster. So I have now exponentially increased the chances of rescuing my twinkle. I am still not repotting her. I'm gonna leave her as is because if I were to disturb her now, I'm going to amplify the stress and I don't want to do that. I'm just going to continue removing the dead and rotting pseudobulbs at the base and then she'll look even more like a fraction of herself. But any bacteria that could pose an additional threat will also have been removed. And then we're going to move on to the Eonopsis popcorn haruri because I have an example there that I can show you and talk about and why I did what I did and why I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do now. While I do that, go ahead and please help the channel out. Give this video a like, I would really appreciate it. It helps the channel. And if you feel that somebody can benefit from it, feel free and thank you very much for sharing it around. I appreciate your support. If you have not subscribed, you might wanna follow the progress of this orchid and the other one I'm about to show you. So subscribe to the channel as well if you haven't already done so. Hit the all button because I also do live streams and you would want to get those notifications in case you can join in. Thank you so, so much. So here we have Eonopsis popcorn haruri with a very, very similar stage of a spike growing and the buds have already extended away from the spike. So this is perfect timing. However, if you look at the base, things are not looking that great down there. And this is concerning. Now, my popcorn haruri has been struggling for two years and I thought I had managed to save both pieces. You can see how much is missing of the original plant. Now, it's not to say that old growths don't die away, but that's not what happened here. I've had a lot of rot issues and environmental issues as well. Sometimes it gets too cold for this orchid in my environment. But having said that, this lower piece was doing so well and when I saw that this growth wanted to bloom, I was super excited because that would be fantastic progression from almost having lost it in the spring of 2022. So I was thrilled I was going to let it bloom, but here we have the situation now that in the last three weeks, my popcorn haruri, the lower piece, has been rotting away very, very quickly. Let me see if I can snip this off and show you. This little growth here was doing beautifully well. And then all of a sudden the leaves turned yellow and fell off, much like what's going on here. Now granted, these are old pseudobulbs. That can happen. But this little growth was a new growth. And that just rotted away from me. So now that I have this one lead here that is doing fabulously well, it also has a new growth starting. This is far too much energy for a popcorn haruri to tolerate if I want to save the lower piece. I could also say, well, I have a very healthy upper piece, just let it bloom, enjoy the blooms. However, my conditions are so, so adverse, and this is where I recommend that you watch your orchid if your environment, your climate, whatever changes, and it becomes very, very stressful for the kind of orchid you're growing, no matter what it did before and then it wants to bloom that doesn't count because we're looking ahead and that is why this spike is coming off in the hopes that I can save the lower piece as well as the upper piece. I want to make sure that the lower piece focuses on the little new growth that is coming out at the base because I am not confident that anything right down here is actually going to survive because I have another little growth coming, but it's already showing signs of cold damage. So now I have removed the stress. I can let the orchid hopefully direct all its attention and hormones to grow that little new growth on, because that is in my interest as opposed to now seeing blooms. And then hopefully after the difficult conditions have passed and we have more favorable conditions, then the orchid can grow back to strength. And these are the things that we have to take into consideration no matter 
how many examples we have of an orchid, we have to make a conscious decision of, do we sacrifice for the sake of blooms, let the other one grow on, how is our environment, are our temperatures conducive to the orchid actually gaining strength, and in my case, the next eight weeks, that will not be the case, it can even be up to 10 weeks of stressful times for my popcorn haruri, so I'm giving her the opportunity to grow a new growth, which means new roots, hopefully, if she can hold on throughout adverse conditions. Me not cutting the spike off is a guarantee that especially this lower piece is going to struggle to have enough strength to develop that one new growth that now the lower piece depends on. Energy preservation, reducing the amount of stress so that the orchid will focus on a new growth because that, in turn, will make it want to bloom and from its point of view, that is the fight for its survival. It has to now bloom again in order to survive. But in order to bloom, it has to grow a new growth and that is what we want to encourage when it comes to orchids that are heading into something that they're going to struggle with or just an orchid in rescue mode in general. So, I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. In the meantime, I want to say thank you so very, very much for watching. Your time is appreciated. Your support, like, share, subscribe, all of that is so appreciated and I thank you for it. Have yourself a beautiful day. On one condition though, please, that you stay safe. Take care. Bye.